Here are some examples of what we have been talking about in the last 11 classes. These are in color and I've indicated what is dominant in each painting. So sit back and enjoy and read what is dominant, what is subordinate, and what is incidental. Then I'll go on and explain how the last one was painted. In this example, we have dominant dark with a subordinate middle tone and an incidental light. We all have days where everything works, and this painting is a result of one of those days. I have just completed two other complicated paintings, which I show, and I decided to take a break and sit out by the ocean and just enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the sounds, enjoy the ocean, which I love very much. As I sat there, the idea of doing another painting came to my mind. Now, at that time, it was unusual for me to paint three paintings in one day, and I was just learning how to paint. I learned a valuable lesson that day, and that is that no matter what happens, stick to it. You never know what you're going to accomplish. If you have the right training, the right information, sometimes things all fall in place. And this painting is a result of one of those experimental attempts at recovering a beginning painting. And I began painting this painting with all of what you see underneath these details that I finally put, placed on the painting. I wasn't satisfied with the way I was painting it. So I washed the entire painting off with a soft brush, removing all of the sediment and strong 
colors that I had applied. I sat there in disgust and wondered why I was even painting. And as I sat there, what began to loom out at me was all of this very subtle staining of the paper with the staining colors, the three staining colors that I like using. This is a very important lesson and a lesson to me at the time so experiment with your painting. Experiment, go out on a limb and try something different. And this is a result of trying something different. These colors began to illuminate seemingly by themselves. They came forward as this paper started to drop. Then all that I placed was the seaweed, fisherman, a couple rocks, the tree in the background, and the painting was finished. Two lessons were learned that day. One, the power of staining color and the power of experimenting with watercolor.